I'm Jason and I'd like to tell you a bit about the life of a training officer. The role of a training officer is to facilitate the training or the workshops that take place within an organisation. Normally we would be told um, what the priorities were for training for a set period or for a set workshop and then it would be the job of the officer to actually make sure that that happens. So that involves sourcing first of all people that will be able to run the workshop and that can be done internally in some organisations or actually going out and finding people who have the required experience and knowledge to actually come in and run those workshops. Great, so tell me about some of the typical projects, uh, you know, if you can give examples, Jason, that you might get involved in. Okay, for example, if we're looking for um, a line management workshop, we would be able to go out, um, maybe from people that we've used before, or go out and source new people from recommendations. Um, and then, really, it's a job of promoting that workshop internally. So, making sure that we get, firstly, the right people, and making sure that they're available to come along to the workshop. Um, so, there's obviously some organisation that goes behind that, such as being able to book some facilities and equipment, making sure that everyone's clear in their schedule, so they can come along and spend the day or half day on that workshop. Okay. I know you've been involved in um, e-learning and using the web quite a bit. Tell us about how that's kind of impacting on the role. Uh, it, it's made the role change quite a lot. Um, we have our own webcasting platform, so basically people are able to get bite-sized information at a time that suits them at their desk. So again, we have to find presenters who can come along and record webcasts similar to a video like this. Um, but then we also have to know how to have the technical skills to be able to produce that. So um, putting together a 15 minute webcast using the tools that we've got, editing the videos, um, making sure it, it looks presentable and interesting for that as well. And then again, promoting it. So mm. we're having to find new ways of promoting as well. Okay, so what are some of the ideas you've come up with there? Um, well, a lot of it's to do with, uh, again, sending out short video clips um, in emails. Uh, linking up to our intranet as well so skills that we've had to develop because it's a lot different to the usual you know send out an email put up a poster and get people interested yeah I'd imagine in in bigger organizations you'd probably have people that are there specialists to help you editing videos etc but whereas in a smaller organization you're, you're really going to learn all of those skills yeah yourself. you have to be a jack of all trades in mm. some of the, the smaller organizations um, I think it, as you say in the large organizations you have now got perhaps video technicians or, or people that can help you with that. But there, there's so, so much software out there that people can just use now, so freeware. Um, and we just started off using some free software for the editing. Okay. And it's the kind of thing people are doing all the time now with YouTube or where they're putting videos on Facebook. You know, people now have the capability to do it themselves. Cool. What would you say is the most challenging part of the role being a training officer? The, the most challenging thing is being able to um, firstly communicate uh, effectively across the, the company in, in various different ways because you know you have to speak to people in different ways you've got um, the senior managers uh, all the way down to the people that may be attending the training uh, lower in the organization so it's being effective in your communication uh, ac across the broader spectrum um, there's some frustration as well with the role occasionally in that you know you may organize an event and you suddenly get lots of people dropping out, but then that's also a challenge because you then have to go out and find new people to come along because you obviously already sourced uh, the equipment, the room, the speakers. So the, the, there's a challenge to always maintain the, the booking figures and show that you're an effective organisation.